So guys, even though it's very cold and I really don't want to do this today, we're going to be doing a review on the Benchmade 940-2. And talking about my overall experiences with this very interesting little knife. So as always guys, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more awesome content. As like always, that. hopefully you guys like some nice tabletop decorations. Got the... Uh, <coughs> Got the Mech Army SPX 10 and the Glock 19 and some competitive, good old competitive options or really just some kind of commenting points about the 940. Now, of course, this is the 940 2 here, and the 940 is the 940 2, just for those who don't know, is basically a spin off of the 940, the original aluminum handled 940, and the Dash 2 is my preferred version of the 940 because for two reasons one not only is it more affordable than the uh, other 940 but it is also lighter weight and this knife comes in at a really awesome 2.65 ounces that's not too bad because it has a 3.4 inch uh, blade and a I believe 4.4 inch handle so for being around a seven a little over or 7.8 inch blade or sorry entire pack here opened having a 2.4 or 2.6 sorry ounce uh, overall weight is really good so just to roll it in really fast to a Chris Reeves Sebenza this is what it looks like and this is a large Sebenza in single grind so you can see it's just slightly smaller than a large Sebenza in single grind this is also a Benchmade AFK so this is another knife and it's a bit smaller than the AFK but um, basically pretty big, you know, it's, it's, it's over seven inches in overall length. It's over seven and a half inches overall length. And like I said, it's really, really lightweight. And you can feel that really evident whenever you hold this knife. And once again, a large portion of that has to do with the whole fact of the G10 handles. And this knife does not have, or this knife kind of has what I like to call Benchmade's rat tail tang to it. So basically, um, the there is metal metal liners in the handles but they're only rat tail so basically they go they are not full size to the actual handle like a, a normal liner would be and they go to about here on the blade so they end right about here or actually maybe right about here sorry they end where this last screw is so if you guys can see there that last screw is the last part of the tang so it's a bit of a rat tail tang it does not fully extend to the end of the blade or end of the handle and uh, like I said it's not full size to the handle and so part of that is the reason why it's so lightweight the other part to why this thing is so lightweight is unlike a more traditional knife as you can see this is generally I'm not going to say the Sebenza is a more traditional knife but uh, generally on a more traditional folding knife you have a lot more width to the blade so you can see that on the Sebenza there's a noticeable amount more of width to the blade as opposed to on this knife it has a very very pencil like blade to it so that that also helps shave off some weight. But I will say, as you guys can see, I'm gonna roll in some uh, slicing footage of this thing. This blade, I can see why the 940 uh, is a really loved knife. Now, I will say, when I was first got the 940, I was really optimistic about it, and I didn't want to sell the knife short, but overall, the reason why I never brought a 940 to the table wasn't because I couldn't afford it, because honestly, both of these knives are more expensive than the 940, or the 940 just like normal. But the primary reason why I never got a 940 series knife was because honestly, I didn't really like them. But that was a few years back, and so I wanted to keep a more open mind moving into a more EDC-style channel. I wanted to keep a more open mind on the 940 and really give it a chance. And I have to say that while I'm not a, the largest fan of the 940 style, I really am impressed at the ability that this thing can cut. This thing is an absolute monster when it comes to cutting through <clears throat> things like cardboard, paper, plastics, you know, just your general day-to-day -day kind of of uh, 
materials are just they this thing goes through it like a breeze and that's a twofold reason now one it has a reverse tanto tip to it and secondly because it has a very thin and just skinny blade on this thing overall I find it really easy to pass through because of course the more material you try and pass through an object the more drag it creates so having a blade like this that's overall very thin and very pencil like is really easy to drag through a piece of material. In addition to that, it also has a very, very, very sharp out of box shaving sharp uh, factory edge. And um, <clears throat> with that factory edge, it's also made out of S30V. So it holds that edge really well and for a really long time. Now, moving over to the whole lightweight of this thing, once again, that kind of pencil-like thinness is reflected in the handle, and this is probably my biggest. It's a like as far as carrying this knife goes because it makes it a really nice knife to carry, but I don't personally, it's not my favorite handle to hold on to, but it is a very thin handle, much, once again, like the blade, it's very pencil thin. There's not that much contouring or um, real ergonomic to it so there's no deep finger choils like on this knife um, but it does have more ergonomics than something like this knife here so in fairness it has a nice mix um, aside from that now this knife did come with a clip that actually looks identical to this but less worn than this because it came brand new so it was less worn than this clip but it came with a clip that looked like this and I don't have anything wrong with that clip or anything against that clip other than the fact that generally uh, when I can get an Adamus clip like this that will bury deep, uh, I, I prefer it. And so this one right now is rocking an Adamus deep carry clip. And I actually really recommend this for anyone that wants to rock a 940, any of the 940s, whether it be a 940, a Dash 1, or a Dash 2. I recommend throwing this clip on because when you use the deep carry clip for the 940, it actually completely buries. And I know that this is black, so it's a black clip on a black knife, so it's really hard to see the color contrast but do I do guarantee you guys that this knife buries really really well and very deep in the pocket with this deep deep carry clip on it and that's not the case for every deep carry clip like if you were to put a deep carry on the AFK there would still be a little bit of hanging out or protrusion of the knife but on some of Benchmade's knives the 940 included when you put a deep carry on it it absolutely buries the knife in your pocket and it makes it a super super concealable carry so aside from that it does have nice as you guys can see anodized aluminum green uh, pillar standoffs and those are add a nice flair to it i think that those are a really nice touch i do prefer them sorry this knife is a little hard to deploy with winter gloves on but uh it it's a pretty nice touch i will say i think it breaks up the kind of black and kind of natural metal color of this knife because it has just pretty much black and metal color but I think those kind of lime green standoffs really spice it up and I think they're a really nice touch to it. Overall I will say I came into the 940 not liking the 940 at all when I first got this knife. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to try and keep a very open mind about the 940 but I was still not that overly impressed with it and I was not like yay this is my favorite knife but uh, honestly uh, through using it and through carrying it I'm still not the biggest fan of it and you won't come out and hear me say that this is in my top three EDC knives because it just isn't it's it's a knife that I love in a way and I will say that I've I now understand having used this knife for the past uh, like month and a half I now understand why people love the 940 and it's definitely gonna stay in my collection for some time because of the weight and the effectiveness of it but I definitely understand why people love the 940 design and platform but <clears throat> overall for me and i'm not just saying this because this is an auto that's not in effect at all or the fact that this has serrations but i tend to be more of a fan of a blade shape that's like this and you guys can see that they're pretty similar in blade shape except this is a drop point and this is a reverse tanto but the whole fact is i like a knife that has a little bit more width to
to it. And as you guys can see with this AFK, this is an AFK, uh, you can see that there's just a bit more width to it. There's about a good quarter to half inch more width to the blade. And personally for me, it's not just stylistic, but also in performance, I really do like having a wider blade. And that's just a personal preference. There's not necessarily a, a, a super hard to find reason for that, but uh, I do generally prefer these styles of knives. So other than that, the price point is at about 170. I personally, if I were to go with a 940 again, I would stick with this 940 because the 940-2, because honestly, the both of the others are in the $200 range. And honestly, I don't really think for what you're getting in either of them, unless you go with the dash one because you just like carbon fiber, I don't really think you're getting as much bang for your buck. I think this is honestly the best 940, even topping the uh, standard. 940 definitely because this knife is not only cheaper than the standard 940 but it's also significantly lighter weight because you don't have, you're not dealing with those aluminum handles anymore and another added bonus to the G10 handles and this is kind of more of an Alaskan thing but and I'm not going to take the, my hand out of the glove for too long but if you do actually have to hold your knife in a cold circumstance this G10 unlike these metal handles which are right now ice cold uh, this G10 is a very neutral um, metal or not metal it's a very neutral handle material so it's not going to get cold on you unlike the aluminum of the standard 940 so that's another thing for me as far as lockup and everything goes it's a bench made absolutely no up and down play a little bit of side to side play and that's primarily because I've tweaked it and made it lighter to a uh, swing and you know throw out but uh, overall standard bench made quality and performance I have no issues issues with that and uh, like I said uh, I do recommend putting a deep carry clip on any 940 if you get one at all uh, just in general but aside from that <clears throat> that has been my thoughts on the uh, on the Benchmade 940 I do really like it as far as a performance knife goes I think it's a really good slicer and a really good everyday carry processor just like going through cardboard paper plastics you know the different things you encounter day-to-day -day packaging and it's a really good knife for that but if you honestly if if I had a choice between something like an AFK or I mean something similarly priced that's more like this knife here I would probably go with this knife uh, just because not because this is an auto but because I like that width more than this really pencil thin kind of blade blade and handle and honestly I will say the biggest disappointment I have with the 940 is that if you have a bigger handle like on an AFK it fills your hand up more it feels like you're really holding something with this it feels like you're holding a pencil or a twig I right. hope you enjoyed that quick look at the 940 or not so quick look at the 940 really wanted to get into this because like I said I have a very different opinion on the 940 it's a real classic in the Benchmade lineup and a lot of people love it but I just I love the I love the design and I can see why people love it. It's just not a personal favorite for me. Anyways, guys, as always, God bless and I'm out.